What's up everybody? Welcome to this week's video. We are going to be packing my hospital bag. The house is chaotic and you'll know why in the next video. But until then, we got to get this hospital bag packed because I am currently 38 weeks pregnant so I can really have the baby at any time. And it's been like weighing on me that I don't have my hospital bag packed. So that's what we're doing today. I finally washed all of the baby's laundry, which was a lot. I did that last night and then I just put it in this massive TJ Maxx bag. Um, so it feels good to have that done because I needed to go get that like a specific sensitive detergent for her and whatnot. So yeah, say hi. Like went on Pinterest, I like looked up kind of like a checklist of what is helpful to bring to the hospital because it's been a minute since I've given birth that I'm trying to, I can't remember everything that I felt like was helpful or things that I needed or didn't need. I put a little screenshot of um, like the checklist I'm going off of, but I know people say that to bring your own blanket and pillows just to make it a little bit more cozy for yourself. Um, they obviously have this stuff there, but already so uncomfortable so I have this blanket that I will be bringing I didn't want to get like a whole new duffel bag for just like my hospital bag either we're gonna bring this little duffel bag next up I'm bringing packing a couple of comfy outfits um I got this at TJ Maxx just like what okay not that but cute cozy set I don't know just something to make you feel a little bit cuter in the hospital. So we got outfit, slippers. I got these like new from TJ Maxx as well. Last time I remember they did give me one of these. I just got this off Amazon. Just one of those score bottles, obviously after labor. And I know they give you things like that, but I've heard this is just like a lot better because of the angle. Postpartum stuff like tux. My sister-in-law told me to get these off Amazon. And so I did because she's had babies more recently than I have. I have a few nursing bras, pack three, maybe two or three. We're all set in that department. Like these, I don't know if I, cause I know they provide a lot of stuff like this at the hospital and then like, maybe I should just save this for when I get home. So I'm not gonna put it in my bag just yet. I wanna see what other people say too, if they if I should bring it or if I shouldn't. Um, another thing she told me and a that I've seen a lot on like TikTok for postpartum moms is like these um, belly bands. That it's like a three-in-one postpartum recovery support belt. And I've just heard they're super helpful. So <laughs> that's a waist trainer. <laughs> it's a little bit different. But yeah, we're gonna pack this. We're gonna see if I use it. I I don't know what. Yeah, like all all three. I would need all three, but we're gonna pack them anyways. Put that in my bag. Thank you. Obviously, I need a robe. They're just so comfy to swing around yourself and like when you're breastfeeding and stuff like that. So we're gonna pack that. This is gonna be my little helper now. Um. So I got a boon. Um, I think it's kind of like the haka that everybody loves. Something I'm not sure if I should take to the hospital or I think my milk supply will come my cup back, but maybe it's nice to have. So I'm, this is like on the border of like, should I bring this, should I not? I'm gonna still keep it. Cause I need like a postpartum, like little basket for myself that I'm gonna have at home. Have a butt pillow for after birth. Wait, for obvious reasons. Wait, or maybe not so obvious for people who have not Wait, given birth. Again. That pillow. <laughs> but I will be taking like um, a nursing pillow. It's got cookies and milk on it. Uh -huh. I want to eat it. 
gonna bring a baby blanket for baby girls. Um, we can also put the baby stuff. I think I'm gonna put the baby stuff in this um, baby diaper bag. I can do that for you. Thank you. Ooh. Now, when I was going through her laundry, I was trying to figure out what I want her first outfit to be. I, like, can I choose? Pictured. You can help me choose. But I think I wanted to, um, I've been really into crocheting. I made her already a Halloween costume. Grace picked our theme this year. Don't say it yet. And I'll just say it again. It starts with the F. Okay, you can say that. So I crocheted her something for that. I've seen how like people announce their baby's names like on their little I'm onesie, gonna... like a crochet her name on there and that's how we'll announce the name at least on instagram i don't know how big she's gonna be so i kind of want to bring one outfit that's a three to six month old because how about you, you just never know like sh this is tiny she could still maybe fit in this i don't know i just want to be prepared and both of these outfits are actually from quincy may which is so cute if you don't know of them and i just love that they have kind of like the built-in mittens of like i remember thinking like what I would put Grace in was always, it was just so convenient because you didn't have to like go out and get the mittens and blah, blah, blah. So this, it just doesn't have that, it doesn't have legs. So just changing diapers will be so much easier. So I thought um, this could be another hospital outfit. That's a dress. Kind of does resemble a dress, huh? How cute. Baby clothes are the cutest. This is like a massive bag, but... No, I'm a massive bag. 